Men with beards are more attractive than those who are clean shaven. Really? I agree. Really? New study finds. Huh. Dan, have you found that uh, <laughs> to be the case? You seem shocked by that. <laughs> well, you know, has, not all of us can be... Uh, has having know, a beard not helped you? There's, there are statistical <laughs> outliers, I guess you could say. <laughs> well, just imagine how, be- how rough it would be if you were shaven. Well, that's true. That's a good point. I mean, have you gone? Have you been beardless uh, in the past, Dan? Uh, to be honest, very rarely. <coughs> like, not since I was a teenager. Basically, I've I've had a beard. Well, I'll tell you. I've had a beard pretty much since I could, and I'll tell you that when I clean shave, I feel like a monster. I feel yeah, hideous. it's not good. <laughs> you know, also. It really like if you come to kiss me or something, it feels horrible too. If you don't maintain when you that perfectly, it becomes like sandpaper. Yeah, I yeah. hate it. <laughs> but the the thi- I think the real ticket for me. Well, this guy's handsome as fuck with or without a beard. So I mean, <laughs> you know, show a guy like me and be like, here he is with or without. Like, but for me, well, apparently I s- they did a study and they showed. How much are you likely people- to want to fuck this guy? They just showed people probably, you know, random guys. <coughs> but I do think in my case, the beard, it just hides my face. And I'm going to be honest, and it's fine. I'm not that insecure about how ugly I am. That is one thing I'm comfortable with. But if you criticize me, I'll shut down. <laughs> <coughs> but um, I don't know if that's what it is. It's it covers just... my face. I don't, I, my details are not that good. I've got a tiny chin. I've got chubby cheeks. Everything going on here is not beautiful chiseled. I don't look like Superman or whoever this ass. Mm-hmm. That's the 50 shades. Cover it as much as possible. You can see my nose, my eyes, my eyebrows. That's okay. I don't know if that's what it is, but I agree with the you with the statement. With the premise of the study. You think I look better with a beard? Yeah, and you I think looks horrified that, when I shave. No, I think that about everybody though. I think I do think that it looks better. Not and I don't like a long beard though. That yeah, sure. No, there's really a cutoff at a like. certain point. Well, that's actually what the study found too, right? That uh, did they check about that? All right. Well, let me let me yeah, read. Yeah, there's 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 four tiers. There's like clean shaven, a little bit of stubble, a mm. decent amount of stubble, and then like a full beard. And the decent amount of stubble, which I think was ten days no shaving, <laughs> that was mm. the Max highest. Sexiness. That's the sexiness. Let me read this <laughs> for you guys. Men who have full beards are seen as more attractive than men who have just a light stubble, according to results of a new study. They don't say what this study is, so I don't know if it's uh, reputable in any way, but it makes sense. Researchers found the widely celebrated attractiveness of bearded stars like Jamie Dorman, Jake Gyllenhaal, and Chris Hemsworth is apparently no coincidence. Doesn't hurt that they're incredibly handsome as well. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) The most beautiful men in the world are found attractive. (laughs) Although, could that be a cultural phenomenon? Because I feel like in the 50s, having a beard could was be. seen as kind of like Might clubby. be a trend right now, you know. I think, I think even trend. until uh, beards are, that's kind of like a new thing to come back, if, I, if I'm if i not mistaken, you know. Well, it definitely became like super hipster to have the long yeah. beard. To buy like beard oils and yeah. shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see. As part of the experiment, male subjects were photographed clean shaven. Five days after shaving, ten days, and then after a whole four weeks without shaving. Uh, 8,500 women were asked to rate the men on attractiveness as a long-term romantic partner. Heavy stubble, ten days, was found most attractive, while full beards grown over four weeks came second. Oh, wow, Mm. they like the full, even more than the light stubble. Mm. Light stubble was third, while clean-shaven was ranked least attractive. Look at that. (laughs) You know, shaving is so annoying. I hate shaving to the skin uh, on my face yeah. and all that because it, it air takes your skin. And it, I feel like that's part of why I don't like it too, because I know that it's it doesn't look comfortable. I, like like you shave your legs. Imagine doing it on your mm-hmm. face. I mean, geez, Louise. I like razoring like some parts, like my neck and the back. I I use a razor for the back of my neck in the shower. That's changed my life. Mm. Um, but the f- this is so the reason I grew a beard to begin with is because it's so irritable. Mm. I keep getting like pimples, yeah, pimples and dried out and oily. It's a whole goddamn thing. I'll Have you ever uh, 
I know this is a weird question, but have you ever had a, a professional shave where they use like a straight razor and like somebody does it for you? I don't know that I have, Dan, and it, that's so strange that you would ask that. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. That wasn't that weird of a question. <laughs> uh, I, it's honestly, I, I did it once. Sounds nice. It was awesome. Yeah, like, it seems nice. And it, and it doesn't irritate you. I mean, that's the biggest thing is the razor is so sharp that mm. it, it doesn't make you break out the way a normal razor do you does. Ha- do you have a fear during that procedure that they're going to slit your neck? Yeah, Sweeney Todd style, just fucking I, shoot you down the I think I have a pie. rational fear that they'll just be like, whoops. Got him. I was <laughs> nervous. It is, it's freaky. I you, mean, you got a guy with a razor sharp utensil to your neck. It's uh, it's a little uncomfortable, but. Seems nice. I like it was that. Nice. Um, I would go for that. I like that this article is on Yahoo style. Uh, That's where I UK. go. UK.style.yoohoo.com. <laughs> Yoo-hoo. <laughs> I love all these tech companies trying to like exist in the shadow of Google. <laughs> Yahoo style. <laughs> um, but the research paper concludes that beards consistently render men with an older, more masculine, socially dominant and aggressive appearance. Oh damn, girls are fucking mm. crazy. <laughs> I want a man that's aggressive and dominant. <laughs> Um, beards may be more attractive to women when considering long-term than short-term relation. I'm looking for a man that's socially dominant and aggressive for a long-term relationship. As they indicate a male's ability to success- successfully compete socially with other males for resources. I think you're looking way too much into this. Yeah. Yeah, that took a weird turn. <laughs> I think it's a fad. <laughs> <laughs> of course, not everyone can grow a full beard. It all depends if it suits you. Okay, whatever. Tell me, uh, what else has Google Style got to tell me about the world? <laughs> Yahoo!